So if Claypool doesn't work out and his contract's up at the end of the year and you don't re-sign him, if Darnell Mooney does produce, he's going to go out and hit free agency and he's going to want to find some money and, and as he deserves so. But we're probably not going to match the amount of money that some other team might be able to sign him for. So we could potentially lose both those guys at the end of the next year. So if Mooney's gone, if Claypool's gone, we have DJ Moore, and do you have any wide receiver prospects that you're kind of keeping an eye on here and there? I think my sleeper of the entire draft is Cedric Tillman. A wide receiver out of Tennessee, him and Jalen Hyatt ran the show last year. But Cedric Tillman, I think this is his third year there, and he'd been doing it, producing extremely well for them for three years. Um, he's just a bigger target. He's more of a complete receiver than Jalen Hyatt. He has a bigger catch radius. That's sneaky pick. Cedric Tillman might end up being the most productive receiver in this draft, um, besides Jackson Smith That's, and Jericho. Um, when the draft talks started and the offseason started, I was looking up some players and kind of trying to find some highlights on some guys. And, you know, I started going through the list of possible receivers and guys that are a little later. And obviously the name Tillman jumped out to me as a Bears fan. So mm-hmm. just being that dumb meathead Bears fan, I was like, oh, Tillman. I would love another Tillman on the Bears. Let's just see who this guy is. And I looked him up, Cedric Tillman. And I was like, wow, um, this guy looks good. And so that's kind of, it's, it's interesting to me that you bring him up now as your sleeper pick because, hey, maybe maybe I do have a small eye for some of this stuff, but um, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. The things that I've seen from him in the small amount of tape that I've watched uh, have really impressed me. 